we've now got Alex Paul Gonzalez talking about uh, going cross platform. All right, so yeah, it's like the third time I talk about cross platform stuff. At Academy, you're probably already tired of this. But I think it's something very important, so I don't have a problem with being very, very stubborn. I'm stubborn on other aspects of my life. So with Talks at Academy, it's also good. Uh, first of all, who am I? I'm Alej, like he said. And what I want to emphasize here is that I've been working for the most of, the, of my KD time on applications. What does that mean? Well, we've, you've all heard, KDE is not the desktop anymore, and it's, it's all about all kinds of different projects. And even if when I joined KDE, uh, it was a desktop, I, I, I was already working on applications. My first application I worked on in, in KDE was K-Algebra, and shortly followed by K-Develop, which, um, well, arguably have maybe nothing that much to do with Plasma. But then, one of the biggest reasons why I, I, I hacked on KDE was probably because I was already using Qt at that time. And one of the reasons I used Qt was the documentation. The second one, though, was that I was not tying myself into a platform. Um, I remember, actually, when I was a teenager, reading documentation. Uh, back then, I actually used Windows. And I had this feeling, every time I read one of those books, that uh, Learning that would make me be only there, right? And what I wanted to do is to create stuff that more or less everyone can use. So, why I keep talking about cross-platform and uh, about being able to be on other places? And for me, the reason is that I don't want all of our projects to be focusing a niche or focusing just a subset of society. When I, when I create this software, I, I, I create it with a bigger mindset. And actually, I don't want that the technology we're using or the platform we're using is, is the limiting factor on who's going to be able to enjoy it. And I completely will agree that free software platforms will be better for everyone, and we should tell everyone to, to use them, but then I still want to improve society without waving a flag, right? So anyway, I think that the, the first and most important point is to, to reach a, the, the large use base, um, to, reach the, to reach society. Nowadays, we don't. I don't think we would consider that the people who use computers or who use technology, uh, this kind of technology, as, as in IT, are, are a subset of society. Nowadays, I would consider that everyone is using them, and, and we need to go to them and, and say, well, we are some nice people who make free software, and, and we make it for you, and, and we're here to help you. Um, another very important reason is that um, we want to take, we want to make software that is part of our life altogether that is not only part of what we're doing when we're in front of a computer. Uh, all the win on servers already showed that, there's, uh, that we're working at Blue Systems on this device that we will be able to carry around. But then, well, then first of all, currently, you, you, uh, when you get a device, it's much easier that it's not using KDE than, than it is, right? And Reducing all the use cases to what whatever plasma phone is would be reducing our, our scope and our mindset a lot, and in a very not needed way. But on, on the other hand, here we're, we're talking about creating technology. We're, we're uh, talking about, about creating uh, software that, that can have an impact on many aspects of our lives. And, well, most of you over here will have an Android phone, will have an iOS phone, you will have a BlackBerry phone. So I think it's a very legitimate use case still for a free software uh, community like we are. 
So what do I mean when I talk cross-platform? There's probably many different uh, definitions and I, maybe I'm not using the correct semantics even, but what do I mean? Well, there's very, two very important uh, axes in the, in the concept as I, as I see it. There's on one hand the form, the form factor. You can be talking about um, a TV and you can be talking about a phone or a desktop. And the other axis would be clearly the platform, the operating system, the technology. And actually, most of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the technologies of the operating systems will have different form factors and vice versa. And actually, in KDE even, we are covering already a, a lot of them. And even if, when we talk about making software that is uh, targeting the, the many form factors that Plasma supports, um, even if we can do it, we still have the, the problem that we need to adapt to each one of them, right? So in the end, we, we have a huge uh, problem with a ton of variables, which ranges from uh, what compilers to use, what uh, look and feel uh, rules ad uh, to adapt to, um, or even, yeah, the form factor, right? So since I am now no guru, I will talk about my experience a little bit. And I will start talking about KAlgebra because everyone knows that I love the project. And yeah, it's it's the it's my 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 guinea pig project to move anything which is KDE related into a, a platform because basically it doesn't rely on too many operating system dependent features and and it still has a library and an application so you get to play around as if it's a uh, standard KD project. Right? So, um, I think that the most important part when we talk about nowadays uh, operating systems, especially mobile, but nowadays not even really, is to get our platform uh, or, or, or software on, on, the, on wherever the users are going to reach out to the, to the software. Um, in the 90s or even in the 2000s, the way to install stuff, especially on Windows, which is what people used back then, was to download the installer kind of thing, and from whoever it was, with all of the viruses and everything, and get it in your computer. Uh, on Linux, on the other hand, we were probably a bit smarter. We probably could leverage on some assumptions, but on the other hand, we had the, the distributions that already allowed us to have a library and to do those stuff. And actually, it's what we've been doing so far. Uh, on Linux, we have never really uh, distributed any binaries. What we've been doing is just relying on the distributions. And, and it has worked. Uh, well, we know how it has worked. It has worked reasonably well, but could be better, whatever. In any case, on, on Linux platforms, we've been where the users reach out to. On, on the rest of the platforms, we, we haven't. And, and uh, more and more, the devices are starting to be more narrow. For example, if you go to many of the operating systems, the modern operating systems, and you try to download something from the, from the interwebs, that thing that you're downloading won't, won't be able to be installed on, on, the, on the computer, right? Or it will warn saying, this is coming from, from virus land. So, well, we need to, we need to be there, we need to be where people are expecting us to go. And, and yeah. another thing that we start to think about then is, well, uh, I have this application that is working on, on Linux generally because it's what we're using. Uh, I need to port it to this platform. And then you start realizing that some issues, some differences will arise. Some of them will be technical uh, exclusively, like where do I look for the main.qml file, where do I look for my images. Uh, Qt abstracts some of these issues, doesn't abstract uh, others, and there's many hacks that we can use to solve them. Uh, what my suggestion here is uh, to always try to have uh, one, one code base, because it, it's what I feel that will have the most maintainability in, in the long run. And actually, not be too strict there. Uh, I haven't managed actually to do that. 
even on Android uh, at the moment and in Clay Algebra, which should be trivial, it is not. Um, I have some if devs for, for Android and, and I'd say it's fine. I, I, and actually, I think that uh, it's, it's very interesting uh, at this point that we start to think about how should have, have it been so that I didn't have had this problem. So <laughs> we can start moving this and trying to solve these issues uh, upstream, whether it's in CMake or, or in Qt, because most of these issues will, will happen on other projects. And this is especially interesting because this way we don't become that project that could get to Android, but we are creating the, the KDE that will go to Android or that will go to Ubuntu phone, right? And then there's the UI. The UI is something that one would assume that it should be maybe probably the same on every platform. The truth is that at the moment it's quite impossible to, to, to get that. Um, Qt tried to come up with a Qt big controls that integrated on the look and feel of the different platforms. And actually it kind of works nowadays. Even on, on Android they have a huge hack that makes applications look uh, native. And and since the Hitchcock, they are, they are also moving away from it, which is kind of understandable. But then, on, on, in any case, uh, you also need to cater to the different form factors, and it's not something that you can make, you can generalize. So, um, in the end, you need to create uh, specific UIs, or that's what I've, I've done at least for for the different platforms, and then it's actually quite. Recommended, or I would recommend to have different ones for the different form factors because otherwise things that would look good on a smart screen look like humongous on, on the bigger one. Then another uh, example I would like to talk about is KD Connect. I started working on it mostly this year um, because I think it's a really cool project and I wanted to experiment a little bit. Uh, and of course, there the, the set of problems I, I found were were actually quite different. Uh, first of all, uh, KD Connect is nowadays only working on two platforms. It's working on Android and it's working on let's call it KDE. Um, and on Android, it's it's using the Android SDK, so it's a Java application, and it's actually something quite a novelty from, for for KDE. It's actually the only application that has decided to go into another uh, another platform and, and say, well, I'm going to use whatever it's offering in order to integrate with KDE and in order to, to make a common platform. But it's still trying to, it's still actually le leveraging the, the other platform rather than, than our technologies. And of course, this has its own set of problems, right? For example, each um, each uh, person who wants to implement a feature, like let's say, let's, well, an example was the remote keyboard or touchpad, right? It had to be implemented on KDE first and then Android or vice versa. And, and it had to land on both sides at the same time so that it could be used. Otherwise, it was like useless. And, and this, is a, this is a problem. I mean, if, if you only have one, one code base, you have only one set of problem uh, of bugs, et cetera, et cetera. The other problem that uh, KD Connect has as well is that the boss is cross-platform-ish. So one thing we could say is, well, let's use the same code base, for example, or maybe big chunk of, of what KD Connect is on uh, KD Connect KD is on Android, and then add uh, an Android SDK kind of UI on top. This could be perfectly feasible, but then we need to start removing these kind of technologies that we're using and we cannot use there, or I'm actually not really sure if it's gonna work here, that maybe, uh, I'm not sure. But in any case, there's these things, like for example, um, KD Connect has to be ported to other different desktops as, as well at some point, right? And when we considered Mac OS and Windows, we thought the bus is probably acceptable, also nobody really knows, and there's no, nobody really pushing for those platforms, so it's kind of hard to tell. And that's actually it's a bit the point, right? 
uh, if, if you have few uh, people, especially on the non-Linux KD platforms, you, especially on those cases, what you want to have people that are, are on top. On, on Android, we could because Albert, who is the maintainer, did the, the, the Android SDK implementation and, and so on. But then on the other platforms, we want to have even less of a divergence than, than on, 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 on Linux. Actually, uh, we had a, a GSOC last year for iOS, and it was kind of ready. It was doing the things it should have done. And the reason it wasn't uh, uploaded to the Apple Store so people could use it was that the, why, the guy was not that very responsive and we didn't feel that comfortable with maintaining the code base he, was, he, he came up with because none of us are, have iOS devices, none of us have the experience, therefore it was a bit of a, of a suicide, maybe. I don't know. So in that case, also if we had used the same code base we were used to, and we only had to worry about the UI, maybe, maybe it would have made sense. So uh, we're still talking about what I was saying before, in uh, the pushing the by the pushing the dependencies up and down. What I mean is, let's try to leave some kind of safe space. When, whenever possible, that you can say this is going to work on any platform or this is going to work on the set of platforms that we want to support. So whenever the, the guy who is very interested in YOLA phones, for example, we can tell him, you can uh, try this code base and you are not going to die in the, in, the, in the attempt because otherwise they already feel quite unsecure about Developing, especially on those, those platforms, nobody really knows how they work, and uh, the people who approach you, they probably usually just want the application more or less working. And and what we did there was to uh, allow the possibility to, for example, st strip uh, Kyo dependencies and and case service, which pulled a lot of stuff because well, it was. It's already in a lot of work to ask them to compile it and to package it for the platform if you have to ask them to package all of the KD frameworks to, to get onto that platform. How, how we did that actually was that uh, at the moment we can have um, uh, use a K and Kyo network configuration or use the Qt version. So if you don't want the, the, the Kyo dependency, for example, you can just uh, use Qt and then it will only work for file and HTTP and a couple of stuff. And if you use the, the Kyo one, it will use all of the platform, um, all of the protocols, which is kind of cool. Then, um, when we talk about uh, this, what we we're talking about is something I, I call to myself the control and integration um, compromise, which is whenever you want to control more how something works, like let's say uh, integrate better with how the kernel works, inter integrate better with what the, with the, what the application looks like, you're losing integration automatically because the platform might do the same that you're doing or might, it might do something very different. For example, you might decide that in kdevelop you want the menus on, on the bottom and you want the toolbars on the left. And your application will look weird on every platform because no other platform is doing that. And it's actually the kind of things you probably want to decide at some point. Uh, and then also, I wanted to add a couple of, of <coughs> slides with my experience with Plasma Phone, which is admittedly not that um, big. But in general, the thing to take into account there is that mostly things just work over there because it's actually the same operating system we're already using. It's or at least the same stack, except for Wayland. So, if things don't doesn't work, it's mostly Martin Grass's error. <laughs> and and when it, it works, it's thanks to you because you did such an amazing job. But in, in any case, get uh, that In any case, um, what what usually happens is that you get you you have an application that it's 
maybe a desktop application that's called one. Uh, it was looking properly on a desktop, you put it over there, it looks like a Frankenstein kind of thing. And well, then you have to work on doing the specific UI for, for the phone, which actually at this, in this case, it can be either moving, uh, making the small components adaptable into the form factor, or it could be doing the, the whole UI uh, all together. Which is what uh, the, the whole UI all together is what we're doing, or I was doing on Key Algebra, or Moon, what I'm doing nowadays, and it could change because it's not final yet. But what I'm doing nowadays is making the, the components to understand that it's on a small screen, so it needs to position a bit differently, but only a, on a per component basis. So, as conclusions, I want to remind a little bit that. Uh, what we want is to make, uh, when we design an application, we can design it into moving on other platforms at some point in life. It's not a, a, a new field. It's, it's software engineering has been about that uh, on, uh, for, since long time. It's completely fine. And I think it's, it's very rewarding to see your, your software working on, on very different use cases or at, at least different, very different devices. For me, actually, it was quite interesting to see a console or Cape Wright working on the phone. It was something like, is this really supposed to be working correctly? I think, I think it's really cool. But then, as I was saying, trying to improve the foundations, the, like improving Qt, improving frameworks, this goes a long way because you're not improving just your use case, you're improving probably any other use case, and it will make that the, the, the suffering I was going through when I started with Key Algebra, uh, well, I don't have to go through it when I'm porting other applications, and so you don't, so you're welcome. And, and yes, downsizing. What I meant with this is the, the Kyo compromise. Having Kyo everywhere, it's, it's really cool, and actually, for example, on the phone, we just put it there and it works and it's amazing and we have little parties about Kyo. But then on Android it's maybe not needed and we have mechanisms to, to cut it down. It could be interesting for some projects. And actually I don't think that we have to be very scared of saying this cannot be done on Android because if you want to use a proper platform you would use the Plasma phone of course. And then the look and feel, which is actually something I don't have a solution for. I, I would love to tell you what you should do. Um, things keep changing. We keep, uh, Qt has evolved a lot in the last three or four years. Uh, it started with QML, Qt Quick, Qt Quick 2, Qt Quick Controls, and now Qt Quick Controls 2, which are, is something completely different. And so it's still a bit of a moving target, but this also means that it's an interesting subject and I would suggest that to take a look on it and, and follow it. And this is a bit the controversial part. It's, it's, it's a, a hard problem and actually we are doing something very different. Uh, actually Qt used to be about code ones run anywhere and, and, and the corollary would be and it would look integrated with the platform. And actually, with the last developments in QML, and actually, even the, since the start of QML, things haven't been integrating all that properly. So the, 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 the thought I want to put in people's minds, and actually I want to talk with the VDG about, is to consider whether we really want to look integrated with the platform right away as, as a, a, a main, uh, as a main, um, as a main goal. Like for, for example, if, if you think about what other people are doing, or uh, Krita, I was talking with Lanier last week. He was telling me that when they were porting to Windows, at some point they realized that the style that was running over there wasn't that good, and they ended up using uh, the plastic uh, Q style, which actually means not really integrating with the look and feel of the, of the platform. And I understand it's, it's quite fine with people. I don't, I don't really think somebody would say, I'm not going to use Krita because it, the buttons are not ugly. Uh, another example is uh, 
Google ha are, are using the material design a bit of a brand nowadays. And I was looking at an iPhone from a friend some days ago, and if you look at it, the applications on iOS uh, from Google are also replicating the design decisions that they took on Android. So that means that integration is good. I, I'm not really going to challenge that, but there's probably other ways to look at it. And actually, this would make our work probably much simpler in, in, in some areas, and it would open maybe some new, new opportunities. So, well, I would like to hear some th your, your thoughts at some point. And maybe now in the questions or during the week, which I'm going to be here. So, yeah, thank you. It's not really that worth it, probably. I mean, I could, I, from a very developer point of view, I would say that what I want is not to be able, not to have to think about these kind of problems at all. But then it's probably just me being lazy. Um, I, in my ideal world, I have a toolbar, a menu bar, and it gets wherever it has to go, which is how we used to work on on Qt widgets. Uh, it's probably a very good idea to let applications look whatever they need to look like, but I prefer your feedback better than whatever I can say. Um, so, opinion and question. So, I don't think that um, the look and feel is uh, big, big, as big of uh, an issue as it was. Um, in the old days, it's quite common to have like to your even in the last to have custom things. But I think that the bigger problem is the interaction variables. Like, for example, in Android, um, the back button is supposed to be used in all apps, and it goes to another platform, and then there's no back button for it. There's a way of interacting with people, in fact, for apps. I and mean, I think that's the bigger issue. Yeah, in, the, in this regard, I think that I am fine with that problem because it's mostly a uh, Programmer problem. I mean, it's something I can solve because I know how to add and remove a button as long as I know what's the alternative I have if, if I'm in that platform or another. I'm more worried on, yeah, I prefer not to decide what things look like, maybe. I don't know. Your questions? More. Different. Okay, I think that's all the questions we've got time for, so thank you very much.